Jumbo Rafiki! It's the time for Miracle Road. It's that time of the season. Yeah, we can't keep that on the play. Um, it's the time of the season to uh, get some get some hunter hunt him down. Meanwhile, I've been like dropping in rank because I've just been like getting DC'd and AFKing and falling asleep at the end turn button and. It's been a disaster. It's basically been a flipping disaster. Luckily, we get like free wins against this kind of shit, so. Save backstab. Eh, yeah, I like that. I like saving backstab. That feels pretty good. We can, we can hang with that. Coffee break, beer beat. Fortunately not. So it's looking like Saparuni. It's looking like a Saparuni. Saparuni para la tiempo. Sorry, para la tempo. I keep saying temp tiempo, and that's like time, but it's probably some weird other translation. I don't know. It's it's deep shit. Me no comprehendo la español. Soy gringo, muy estupido, etc, etc. <laughs> oh, okay. Hand is getting worse and worse by the second. Check that explosive trap. Oh, is it bear? Oh, okay, thank God, it's not a bear trap. Alright, so it could be something janky like snipe. Which, you know, I would never put past him. Could always be something janky like Snipe. Snake Trap I'd be a little less upset about. Uh-oh, the jig's up. He knows what we're doing now. The jig is up. Alright, maybe it's snipe and it combos to six and then gets sniped to four. Okay. Or snipe to two. Apparently not. So it's probably freezing trap then. If it's not bare and it's not explosive, it's probably freezing trap. Man. That feeling when you get deadly shotted. Roughest life. Roughest life. It's that feel good sap. Ooh, baby, it's that feel good conceal, you know. Oh, going off. Just going off right now. So now we're doing the old snake trap test. Oh, it is snake. Wow, it is snake trap. Okay, I guess that's kind of better than freezing in a way. Because now we get a auctioneer attack. I think that's better, right? So this extra three attack on that relevant. Right, it is we're going to dagger twice. So I think, I think we're going to have to do that since we're daggering twice. Presumably. 
following this eviscerate. Now that we got the back set, we're probably not doing that. I could have drawn another card, but you know it'll work out. Obviously, the only thing these fucking hunters do at turn eight anymore. Put all of them into play. Whatever. Whatever, man. Well, there were much better things for you to do than that. Trust me. There was most certainly better options than that, brother. Most, most certainly better options. Mm, double Tomb Pillager next turn? Okay. Well, if we're alive, that'll be good. Or he's got second power of the wild and we're just sad. Like, really sad. I hate it when you cut the roof of your mouth on tortilla chips. Oh, it feels bad, mate. Oh, that unleashed the hounds for one. He just spent four mana and two cards to kill an Azra Drake. Like, oh god, that, that, that can't feel good. That being said, we're very dead, basically. Let's see, wait, well... Actually, no, we show lethal next turn. Presuming that we can play this card. How sad is it if we top deck Sap and he doesn't oh, okay, we've already played those saps. Alright, never mind. That would that would be that would be really sad. But this is this is just the, the good old story of he drew some damage. I'm sad. Alright, the down rank is real. We might have to actually play a deck that wins streaks. Eventually, you know. <laughs> the win rate has just gone down the down the pooper. I happen to think our druid matchup's pretty good though. the sap in case it's Cthulhu Druid. I think we want all these cards actually. They function kind of better than Backstab does. Backstab is surprisingly not that awesome against Druid for most Druid strategies nowadays. Obviously, we're gonna shadow strike his face for tempo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't, don't do, don't do that, kids. Don't, don't, don't consider that a tempo play. That's what's known as discarding a card for not enough value. It's nice that it has the option to go face, though. Just like in case you need to discard it, or because it's kind of what you're doing. It's funny how, like, you use the life as a resource, but it's a very expendable resource. Yup. The Elder. Yup. Yup. Um... I think we save 
that, and now we just slam the Zaril. Yeah, we get to bounce. That's good. This is good. What's Oriana up to? Oh man, look at that Lee rank. It's funny because we were like 11 yesterday. <laughs> then suddenly the scrubbiness occurred. No idea what I'm doing. But now, now we're now we're now our friends are our friends are watching, guys. Uh oh, pressure's on. Pressure's on, mate. So what are our chances of re-daggering next turn? I'm gonna assume they're pretty high, so I'm just gonna go face here. Yeah. See, now I say we were gonna re-dagger, but eh. Now we're just gonna not. I wonder if he'll give us the thank you. Oh! Oh boy, you make your Cthulhu bigger! Oh, no fucking way! Because every point of damage matters at this point. Ugh. Yeah. I like that feel. I'll be skipping stones. See, I wish I would have played the Thalnos now. Such regret. Such regret. Such regret. But, you know, that doesn't feel that bad. Lethal? Uh, 8, 12, 16, yeah. Us. He's like, how did he go down so many ranks?
Priest. I think we want the Drake against Priest. I think we want this. We just kind of want dudes. we just get our priest free win. <laughs> oh, my win rate against priest is, but like, just the match was so, so bad for priest. Ugh. I think it's worth him starving in the draw more so than the power. It's a little bit mas importante. And in Miracle, I do value preparation over the coin, which I know is somewhat questionable, but you do what you can. God, Zero's so sweet. I love this card. One of my favorite Raptors. By Raptors, I mean three twos. But it costs four, so I really shouldn't say Raptor, because that implies three two for two. Anyway. What are we doing here? Um... Give us so some dagger potential, and then just go like this. Yeah, I didn't really care about the health of our minions that bad. Like, if he has Holy Nova, well, wait, if he has Holy Nova, he would have played it, right? He probably would have played it. And if he does, it's not even that bad for us. Like, we have a sweet miracle hand. Justicar is totally Gucci. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be good. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, draw that card, Drake or Pillage, Drake or Pillage, I'm feeling Pillage, Draws out of death, we get a coin. Oh, we can sap that, that could feel pretty good. But in case you didn't know, it is that young miracle turn. Feels good shadow strike, boys. It's a feels good shadow strike. So, fade leaf for conceal. I think it's going to be conceal. For that next turn, lethal. So ridiculous. I cannot believe this car used to cost five. But like. Who the fuck designed that? <laughs> Honestly, this card... Just just because Rogue exists, it should cost like seven, but I'm happy with where it is. I think it's mostly balanced. BM? Kind of. Oh, no, don't do that. No, just, just eviscerate. Eviscerate the face. Hit, hit the face. Hit the face. Hit, hit him in the boom. Make him go boom, boom. Yeah, it was close. Extremely close. Yep, that's the joy of miracles. Uh, Uno Mas, for the fans. For the fans. We're only at 
21 minutes. Ideally, this one's quick so I don't end up with a 35 minute video and I'm playing against like Control Warrior. That'd be sad. Or a Shabby Shaman. Normally, the Shabby Shaman games go pretty quick though. No. Nope. Normally, the Priest games go pretty quick too. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Yeah, we like Shadow Strike. Shadow Strike against Priest is pretty sweet. Deadly Poison, the young combo enabler. Enobler. Enobler de la combo. And now we have a uh, actual, like, feels good drops on four and five. So stuff is looking up. I guess we could have swang there. Swang it. Let me swing it, girl. Swing and hero power. <laughs> Let me swing it, girl. Take the board control right out from under him. Gotcha. Right out from his nose. He's gonna coin out that Cthulhu's, we'll make him replay it, and then kill it. Wait. Ooh, that young Resap. Gosh, feels questionable. Feels, it's so tempting though. Ah. Yeah, we're doing it. The young resap. SI his face for board. Let's go. Yeah, this is good stuff. And you can just kind of casually take like 11. <laughs> Goodness me. Replay the Cthulhu's chosen. Yup. When you 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 kind of get all the tempo when you sap Cthulhu's chosen twice. Like, that was pretty nasty. We don't want to waste our dagger here. We kind of like it. 11. Oh, wait. Wait. Never mind. Now we do waste our dagger because then it shows lethal. If we... He, if he heals to 14. And we're showing 12. We can, uh, rass. That was not well thought out. <laughs> or he could just attune that. Okay. I guess our swing was somewhat warranted then. <sighs> we still have a good play. Ta-da! Every damage counts at this point. But yeah, I don't I don't see him dealing with the Azure Drake and a few SS. It's pretty cute. Just not quite get there. Oh, of course then we top tech auction here. Right after prepping to try and find lethal. Although the things we were gonna find that would give us lethal would be eviscerate an agent, but like we already played both of those. That's kind of awkward. There is eviscerates. Eviscerates are always nice. Gotta be a pretty spectacular play here. 
It's not all that spectacular, but it's something. Oh, heal the six. Almost got there. Sorry about it. All right. We got the win streak. Coming back. All right, till next time, guys. It was fun. Miracle and off is too easy.